Let's nice look at the tail of the tape here. Mark Miller comes in, I think, at a disadvantage. He's 40 years old. He's got less fights than Pettis, and um, he's got a lot to, to live up to and prove coming off what he's just experienced. If he does have an advantage, it will be in the height and reach. Yeah. Interesting toenails there for Fight Shark, Mark Miller. Like how he's got his uh, blue thumb toenail the and the rest of the pink. Stop, stop y'all, okay? If it's a good fight, shake hands and stand back. Works well in bike club. Looks Good. cool. Mark Miller, a very animated character. His fighting career goes back 11 years to Las Vegas. And he starts with a low kick and blasting away at the body. He lost weight for this fight. He feels much better. You know, the medications from the heart surgery made him gain a ton of weight. It got out of control. And he's wisely circling, coming forward with a choppy right hand, but he ate one coming in. They're going at it here. Getting worn for the back of the head, rightfully so. Can't strike to the back of the head. It's unorthodox. It, strange positions, you know, different hands. Different movement. Yep. Different rhythms. And there's the low kick by Pettis. Miller looks insistent on landing that right hand. Koichi Pettis adopting the last name of his original trainer, the great fighter Nicholas Pettis. Sort of like the Thais do with their camps. Yeah. It's a big sign of honor and respect. Yeah. So, the question is, will Mark Miller become Mark Smith? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Maurice would be all for it. He would love that. He'd probably require that. Yeah. Pettis with a good high kick. It was a little short, but he's starting to find range here against Miller. Miller fading into the corner. Not a good place to be. Yeah, I don't like how Miller's looking away. No, no. He's starting to spin out. Mark Miller has come back from so much. You know, he never touched a drink or a drug in his life because his whole family had addiction problems. They lost his whole family in four months' time Ouch. and got on the sauce. He's now three years sober, and he says this is one of the biggest nights of his life. But Pettis doesn't care. He don't care. He's on it. No, he's, he's coming there. <laughs> he's thinking, okay, uh, check this out. Miller missing by a mile with that right hand and turning his back. This isn't good. I, pretty soon we're going to get a standing eight count or yeah, something. Yeah, you, know, you can't turn your back. No. Besides it being dangerous, it's a sign of not wanting to be in combat. That's right. Ben is doing what he has and controlling this fight with a little bit over 30 seconds left here in round number one. Miller looks like he's really fading, too. Yeah, he's getting wild. And sloppy. Pettis with a good low kick combinations. Miller trying to escape somewhere but can't hide from this blizzard of punches and kicks coming at him. He's got to get his hands up and look at this action. Okay, yeah, what rightfully so, standing eight. Because Miller was giving nothing. He's bending over there. It's uh, it's completely depleted right now. You can see the, the inhaling of the, the belly. Yep. And, and the round number one, Koichi Pettis did all the work, and Mark Miller took a lot of shots in that round. Talk about saved by the bell. I think that uh, he only had a few more seconds in there regardless. He needs to really switch it up in round two. He's going to be like an ass whooping. And Frank, you said at the beginning of the show about the age difference. Yeah, 40 years old, man. I'm 40 years old. I'm not in there for a reason. It's too hard. These young kids are awesome. And they don't get hurt. Nothing breaks and they heal overnight. And you can see it right here. I mean, that is just mashing with leg kicks, you know, staying aggressive with hands. I mean, he's just running away with this fight. And, and Mark Miller, frankly, is running away from the fight. He really is. I mean, turning your back like that and running to the corner like that, that sends a bad sign, not only to the judges, but also to the fans. And the fans here were starting to whistle, and that's the sound of discontent here in Europe. Coaches are hurrying. Thank you.
Okay, Daniel Gita, one of the greatest heavyweight kickboxers on the planet. And yes, he is a glory fighter. And he will be a factor in our burgeoning heavyweight division. But Pettis is all over Miller, continuing what he started in round number one. The oh judges round, ruled that first round, a 10-8 round, Frank, so Miller's got a heavy hill to climb. He's come back from so much. I'm not optimistic at this point. I don't point. think he's no. coming back from this one. No, 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 no. This, this doesn't look good. No, this is not good. He's rocked. Okay, it's a good call by our referee, Yoke Ubeda. Koichi Pettis did everything he had to do. Basically stayed on Mark Miller and blasted him out of there. It's a great call by a referee. Yeah, Miller was hurt. Plus he's turning. You know, you can't turn away from combat. We talked about that, but it's just, it's not safe. You can't see the shots. Your brain doesn't know what's going on. And I mean, organically, you're getting punched in the back of the side of the head. It's just not right. You know, Mark was in there. He was game, but oh. he figured out about a minute in, he wasn't going to win this fight. So that left roundhouse kick, that hurt, and then and that, that right hand, hand, that pretty much ended things. Yeah. Yeah, that, that kind of body language right there, if there'd be a photograph taken of that moment. Yeah, here's that right hand one more time. Let's see it. Oh, right on the button. Just chin up on the Hard. button. And he drove through with his whole shoulder and whole body, everything. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the winner of this contest by a knockout in the second round. From the red corner, Koichi Pettis. Koichi Pettis did everything he had to do, made an impression here in Brussels, Belgium, and conquered Mark Fight Shark Miller in round number two.